Welcome to part 16 of the Edward Art Supply Hand series titled, What Else? A link to the full post will be in the description below, as well as Edward's channel, so definitely check those out. And if you're interested in more content like this, please like and subscribe for more. Part 16, What Else? How do I enter into a new state of consciousness? Death. Death is the only way. How does one die into a new state of consciousness? By surrendering to the new state. You cannot enter a new state taking with you all the limitations, the questions, and the worries of the old state. The inner self must be exalted, but cannot be exalted by holding two contradictory states. One must win, and one must surrender to the one that wins. Suppose you want to hear something or have something in your mind. The moment you decide to imagine it or hear it, you start to question if it will work, or what the bridge will be, or when it will happen, or if this whole thing is fake. You are not entering into the state of your desire being fulfilled in your mind. You cannot take with you those worries and questions with you if you want to fulfill a desire in your mind. You must be willing to die to it completely. And what does this mean, to die to it? When you imagine having exactly what you want in your mind, you do not question anything. You do not worry. You do not wonder what if. You do not entertain the old state and its limitations for one second. You die to it entirely. You cannot bring your current limitations, worries, questions, and feelings with you into your new state. The states or concepts you hold in the imagination are nothing but things you hold. That is it. You think because the concept you are holding is reflecting in your world, so how it makes it more real? I assure you it is not. It does not really matter if it's being reflected. These conceptions we hold of ourselves are nothing but what we, the inner self, have appropriated in the inner world of imagination. Appropriate something new. Literally take it in imagination, whatever so you desire. But in order to actually take it, shed the old state and all its worries and limitations when you imagine something new. Once you die to the old state, you will enter into a new state which is the mindset of having your desire. You will enter into the new state and you will experience your desire in the present moment in your mind. The feeling of your desire changes to the feeling of fulfillment. You will actually experience your desire and thoughts from the desire being fulfilled. This happens entirely naturally. Here is what I meant by present moment. Say you are imagining something you want. In order to be present, which is what you want, you have to stop questioning and wondering about anything. To be present is to not question, worry, or wonder. To be present is to experience the imaginal acts as though it is happening to you right now, as if it was happening to you externally. Once you are present in the imaginal act, you will naturally feel completely fulfilled. You will feel radiant. Now here's something I enjoy doing in my mind. After I'm feeling present in my fulfilled desire, I will ask myself a simple question. What else do I want? I just ask this to show myself how unlimited I am in me. That my imagination cannot be exhausted. I want to prove that it will keep giving and giving and giving regardless of the request or impossibility of the request. This teaches you that in the world of imagination, you are limitless. The inner self cannot have anything and feel anything they want. This also shows you that you can intensify your wonderful feelings to a degree that you did not know before. So I just asked that question repeatedly. I want to hear some good news, okay? So I hear it. I hear it as just as though it's happening to me right now in the present moment. Say I want to change what someone said to me in the past, so I revise it. I revise it and hear what I wanted to hear, just as though I am hearing it externally. After that stirs up amazing feelings in me, I ask, what else? 
Maybe I want to feel entirely secure. So then I feel that as deep as I want. What else? Maybe I want to be shown love to me in the way I conceive of love. So I have it shown to me. What else? Maybe I want to see myself in a certain position in life. So I see it just as though it were my own reality. Okay, what else? Maybe I want to hear an extremely specific compliment, so I hear it, no problem. What else? Maybe I want to intensify those wonderful feelings to a degree I did not know it existed, so I intensify. Okay, what else? Maybe I want to see someone having success in life, so I hear them tell me wonderful things about their life. The whole point is that I do whatever I want. Your wants or desires will be different. Just fulfill them. Think of this almost like you are going up a set of steps of exaltation. I do not need anyone's permission. I do not have to advise a counsel or fear decadence. I do not need to fear anything in my mind. It is fear that makes you go down paths you do not wish to go. Go to the end in all things. Do not bother yourself with the middle because this is not what you want to do. You want to fulfill your desires. When you fulfill your heart's desire in your mind, you are healing your heart. You are showing love towards yourself in your mind and everyone within it. I urge you to fulfill all your desires daily. Leave the entire world alone and make an inner personal reality where it is perfect. Of course, perfect is different for everyone. So do not pressure yourself into thinking it must be a certain way. It is personal, very personal. To me, it is not imaginary, nor just in my mind. It is actually happening to me. I do not care if I'm called crazy or what the world thinks is crazy. I do not care what I should think. The world is filled with rules of what you should and shouldn't do. Where is the freedom in it? Find God and worship only God. And God is your imagination, the cause. Test God in all things. And if God, the inner self, proves itself in reflection, who cares what people think? Take what you want in imagination without price or permission. Your imagination will never deny you of imagining anything. Once you are in the present moment, or when you shift into the feeling that is actually happening to you, that is where the freedom lies. Once you get that shift that this is real, then apply that to everything in imagination. Here's how you know you have shifted, when the limitations and the questions of the old state cease. Thank you for listening.